Hey there, today I am fortunate enough to introduce our first project, in this case our statistical uh, analysis project, and uh, this is kind of the intro to uh, the project opportunities that we're looking forward to possibly offering students uh, so that they can expand their skills, their knowledge, their understanding of mathematics, okay? So uh, as you've already um, probably been instructed, we're looking at kind of tackling some different steps on our days at home and this project will kind of wrap up in the middle of january okay so already you um, should have watched uh, the khan academy video what is a statistical question probably did that one already and um, there's going to be a new uh, scan right there and that's for this video currently right so what we're going to do is just talk briefly about what this project should look like and um what you need to uh, kind of do moving forward, all right? Uh, before I get moving, if you do have questions about a statistical uh, question and you're struggling with that or whatever, please be sure to talk to your teacher uh, as they can kind of help guide you um, with that. At any point, you should be talking to your teacher if you have questions because uh, we don't want you to have any mass confusion or any issues kind of as you're going through or if you proceed through the project and you realize that you were doing it uh, incorrectly too late, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is, after you understand what um, a, st a statistical question is, we want you to create five statistical questions, okay? Now, I want you to really think about what those statistical questions are um, kind of focused or directed towards, all right? What do I mean? <clears throat> I'm going to jump down here to number three. We need you to be able to give four to seven possible responses. So if your statistical question has to do with, do you like um, chocolate milk or white milk? It's not a very um, kind of fun uh, opportunity there, right? I know that they offer strawberry milk and maybe banana milk, but, and maybe then if you start to find enough of those, that would work. But quite honestly, most people have just had white and chocolate milk, right? And what we want to do is make our data interesting and for us to have um, some fun with our graphs that we're going to create and charts that we'll create later. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and so we want to make sure that you have four to seven possible responses for each question. So as you create your five questions, keep that in mind. Now, one thing you could do um, uh, maybe if you're only interviewing adults, is a question like, what was the first vehicle that you um, drove? Or maybe you learned to drive on, right? Well, now there, we have lots of opportunities, right? We could list Ford, Chevy, Toyota, um, and the list could go right down there, right? But one thing that you could keep in mind is, because that list could go on and on and on, and we don't want to get too overwhelming, that's why we limited at seven responses, um, we do offer the opportunity for you to just put on other, right? So you could hit the big ones, the main car companies in this case, um, but you could always offer an other because you would never list all of the cars, right? And so it captures any other uh, people that you have in there. Now, you could offer even opportunities for them to just tell you what it is so you have that recorded. I don't know if that would be something that would be helpful in your data, but it's better to collect that data at that time than to wish you had it later. Okay. Um, after you uh, figure out your, your question and you pick your, your final question, right? Your final question with its four to seven possible responses, you do need a signature, right? do need a signature right here to know that we uh, looked at your question, we like your question, and say, you know what, go ahead, keep moving. As soon as that's approved, it's time to collect some data. And we want to do it so that you're at least interviewing 40 people, right? At least 40. And now I just want to take a second just to remind you of what that means, um, how we tally that up, right? So if you had put your choice here, and um, let's say that it was um, the vehicle one, right? And I'll just put two of them down, right? Our tally marks always work in one, two, three, four, slash, right? And we always put those in groups of five. We don't do something like this. That's not good tally marks. Those are not the way we would want to do something like that. Okay, whoops, bump that one. We'd always want to put them in groups of five, so it's easy for us to count. Five, ten, right? 12, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. And then make sure that you're writing your final number when you're here. 
And when we add up all of those, remember this must match that 40 that we're talking about right here, right? That 40 that we have. Now, feel free to do more interviews. Um, I don't think there's uh, harm in going past that, but I do think 40 would be a good number for you to aim for. Uh, for that. So again, very exciting opportunity here. And um, let's get started by doing statistical questions and think about what those answers might be. And hopefully you find those statistical questions that match your interests, but also um, the interests of those people that you're going to have a chance to interview, right? So if you have any other questions, talk to your teacher and hopefully you have a fantastic day.